Holy Father, faithful Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration, Lord. Speak a word and sit into our soul. And not our eyes to see you, our ears to hear you. Give us a word and sit in, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Emmanuel. In Jesus' name. Beloved, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Still under the umbrella of Premier School of the Prophet. Today in our daily life, we are looking at dreams or visions with the entrepreneur application. You had this dream, you saw yourself bathing. You saw yourself, you were bathing in a dream. That was you were taking your bath. What does it mean? Because you, are, you, are, you have not been taking your bath. God wants you to start taking your bath. No. It also means cleansing. It also means washing. It also means purification. You know, Jesus washed the feet of the, the disciples. Yes. So basically in the dream, it means cleansing, it means washing. You know, the Bible says in Thessalonians, it says, sanctify spirit, soul, and body. God wants you to be sanctified. Spirit, soul, and body. God wants you to be clean. You see, in, in Isaiah chapter 60 or 61, verse 10, it talks about the garment of salvation and the rope of righteousness. The Lord wants you clean. He doesn't want you spotted at all with any sin. The Bible says, eyes is too holy to build iniquity. So it means cleansing. It means washing. It means purification. I pray that the Lord will wash you in the, in the blood of the Lamb. When Jesus shall appear, your garment will be spotless. Your garment will be clean. In the name of Jesus. Satan, the accuser of the brethren will not be able to accuse you because of stain or spot on your A higher require because of spot or stain on your garment. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen.